collections, classics, customs, restorations. This is Crossroads Speed Shop. Hey, this is Skip, and welcome back to the Crossroad Diecast Speed Shop. We're standing outside the shop today, waiting on our next project. It's a project for the Diecast International Builders May 2024 Build Your Favorite Summer Ride. So I think if we listen, I hear the car, the truck coming down the road. Let's see if they're coming. And here they are with our next project. It's a 71 Plymouth GTX. That's going to be the car that we use for this month's build. So let's get it off the truck and into the shop. All right, here we are. We're in the shop. We've got our little Plymouth GTX all taken apart. Let's take a quick look at it. See, again, the body's in good shape. Got it all drilled and tapped uh, with the 256 screws, 1 8 inch long. Um, the interior is all chrome. Of course, it's the body that has the chrome for the uh, the front and the back. So I'm going to have to think a little bit about how I'm going to do that. I really want to get that interior painted different. Uh, base, a little bit of detail there. Uh, nice windshield because it's brand new uh, out of the blister and of course we have the f the five spokes uh, there on that um, again Hot Wheels produced this car since 2001 this is one of last year's 2023 cars I've got several of them uh, in my collection as well along with this blue one that I found last year I thought that was pr pretty cool it's got the MC5s instead of the five spokes on it and uh, so that was pretty cool. And uh, but when it comes to the uh, the Plymouth GTX, uh, it was produced by the uh, Plymouth division of Chrysler Motor Company from '67 to '71. It was marketed as the gentleman's muscle car, and it was an upscale version of at that time the Plymouth Belvedere. But then in 1968, it was moved over to become the part of the Roadrunner series. Uh, then in 1971, it was redesigned, and the convertible top was was dropped. But in this episode, because we're talking about our favorite summer ride, we're going to try to go back and see if we can replicate uh, this car as a convertible. So anyways, let's get moving on with our project. Later. Here we're getting to do the convert, ready to do the convertible top on our GTX. Um, again, I've got, you can see I've marked off the top with a piece of tape so I can cut my line across there. Because it's a little bit of a curve, I've kind of, I'm going to uh, leave that there for now. I'm going to cut a little bit higher. And the reason for doing that is, again, it's the type of thing is, you know, it's better to cut it a little bit long and then work it down, file it down or, or, or sand it down than it is to get too short and then you can't do anything about it. So that's what I'm going to do on this. Also, don't forget, always good policy. Make sure you're wearing the safety glasses when you're using uh, your various power tools. So I'm going to start this. Okay, so you see how I did that on that. I'm going to do the same thing on the sides here. Um, again, always be careful. Wear your safety goggles and stuff and be careful on that. Like you may have also noticed, I was started out too slow on my on my Dremel because I had it there for some um, for some polishing uh, speeds. And then I need it. But when you cut it, you need to have a little bit faster speed for your cutting wheel. Okay, let's move on. All right, well, we've been working a little bit more on our convertible GTX. As you can see here, I've sanded this down a little bit, made try to make the curves a little bit smoother. Um, I also put a piece of styrene I cut out to fill in to look like the uh, the top 
uh, the convertible top. Um, I also trimmed off the front um, windshield, part of the windshield, and got that set in there. Uh, still haven't fully decided on colors for the car or anything. And then the interior, what color that'll go with whatever color. <laughs> I'll try to make it to go along with whatever color I've decided to do with the car. Anyway, so that's what we've got so far. So let's move on. All right, well, we're going to take our little uh, GTX and we're just going to add a little bit of decals to it just to kind of uh, break up some of the car. Nothing really fancy. I had some white stripes that I had. I was going to just add those to the the base of the door. Let's see if we can do this. And just put a little bit of that micro set on there. And then that micro set works really good and it, it makes it so it really kind of helps to decals to just kind of slide a little bit better on the yes. There we go. Let's move on. A few moments later. Well, we got all the pieces ready for our Diecast International Build this summer ride uh, build. It's a 71 Plymouth GTX. Uh, got some nice 10 spoke wheels here from Sam Ed Wheels. And uh, as well as took and painted the interior white and used a little bit of the same purple uh, plum, plum uh, pearl. Uh, and the inserts on the seats and a little bit around the uh, steering wheel as well Then I added a little bit of styrene here to go into the back uh, Kind of to fill in that back deck in the area where normally a uh, Convertible top we'd, we'd go uh, Really happy with how the uh, The paint job came out added some stripes onto the side So let's get this thing put together and see what we got Well, here's my entry for the Diecast International Builders May 2024 Favorite Summer Ride Build. Uh, it's a Hot Wheels 71 Plymouth GTX. Uh, in reality, the 1971 GTX never came out in a convertible version. But when I think of summer rides, convertibles just come to mind. So I removed the roof, painted the interior white. The body is painted with Pearl Plum from Createx and also two coats of Diecast Graveyards 2K Clear. I added chrome 10 spokes from Sam Ed Wheels, and I also added some uh, white stripes on the sides from Second Chance Red Lines. Uh, I really enjoyed this build, and, and I look forward to seeing everybody else's builds and what their favorite summer rides are. i also like to know what's your favorite summer ride, so if you would, just leave it something in the comments. Uh, again, I want to thank Ron, Mark, Caleb, and Cole for hosting this build. As always, God bless, and thanks for stopping by the shop.